Hi there, I'm Chris, and I'm sure many of us are familiar with the benefits of sleeping pads. They provide a comfortable way to get up off of the hard ground and a layer of insulation to keep you warm through the night. However, I'm sure the benefit of the extra insulation doesn't really make sense until you've had a frigid night. I'm sure we've all had that night where the temperature dropped just a little bit lower than we anticipated and wish there was a way to increase our warmth. But then again, maybe it's just me. But either way, I stumbled across this tip when I was feeling a little chilly and it did help me stay warm. So I hope this tip helps you as well. This helpful backpacking trick can help provide extra insulation and comfort out on the trail. And the best part is it doesn't require that you bring anything extra with you. You already have everything you need and look no further than the trusty old pack on your back. As you'll notice, many backpacks come with some sort of foam back panel. And this is really good at providing an additional layer of insulation and another layer of padding between you and the cold hard ground. Now unfortunately you will need to empty out all of the contents of your backpack before using it as a sleeping pad, but usually the work is mostly done already. The food is out in a bear canister away from camp, the sleeping bag, tent, and other extras are set up for the night, and that leaves very few items that need to be emptied out. Once your pack is empty, however, just slide it underneath your sleeping pad to provide the additional insulation and comfort. This tip can really be helpful for those of you who use a three quarter length sleeping pad to save weight. The backpack can help insulate the part of your body that doesn't quite fit on that three quarter length sleeping pad. And for those of you who are really looking to cut weight and who are willing to sacrifice a little bit of comfort in the process, you can actually use your backpack as your sleeping pad and leave your sleeping pad at home although this tip is best reserved for those warmer months. I hope you found this tip helpful, and if you did, give us a thumbs up. It shows that you like the information, and we really appreciate it as well. And for more outdoor tips and tricks, be sure to click on one of the videos I've linked here at the end.